The double canonization held a special meeting for Catholics here in southern New England. Never before had a reigning pope and a retired pope celebrated mass together in public and to honor two of their most famous predecessors. Our in-depth coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson, who caught up with Rhode Island's Catholic bishop prior to a special mass in Pawtucket. It's a historic day for the Catholic Church. Two popes canonized, recognized as saints in Vatican City. To get a local take, I spoke with the Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Providence. Hundreds gathered at St. John Paul Parish in Pawtucket on a momentous day for the Catholic Church. Local parishioners celebrated a canonization for two popes. John the 23rd and John Paul II were both honored as saints in the Vatican. It's like a victory celebration for the church. I like to think of them as being now uh, inducted into a heavenly hall of fame. Here in Rhode Island, Bishop Thomas Tobin of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Providence served as a principal celebrant at a parish mass, just hours after the unique double canonization. It's something that's never happened in the history of the church before, and who knows if we'll ever see it again. So from every aspect, it's a very historic day for all of us. And for the bishop, this moment served as a special reminder. It's a very important day for me personally because it was Pope John Paul who named me a bishop and also uh, sent me to the Diocese of Providence. I was his last American appointment before he passed away. And of course, we have full coverage of the double canonization on our website. Log on to WPRI.com for more information. With the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News. And this historic day comes as the Catholic Church copes with a number of challenges here in southern New England, from parishes closing to falling attendance and a shortage of priests. We'll take a closer look at the state of the Catholic Church in Rhode Island and what's being done to turn things around tomorrow night on Eyewitness News at 11 right here on WPRI 12.